Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for you to be updated on the next videos. This video lesson, you will be able to identify the different kinds of quadrilateral. But before we start our lesson, please try to answer these following questions. You are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. You can pause the video and play it after you are done answering. Let us check your answers. Number 1A, number 2D, number 3B, number 4D, number 5A. In this lesson, you will encounter these terminologies. Now, let us talk about quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. It has four vertices and the sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees. For example, we have here a quadrilateral which is MATH. It has four sides which is side MA, side AP, side TH, and side HM. It has four vertices. These are vertex M, vertex A, vertex T, and vertex H. It has four interior angles that add to 360 degrees. Angle M plus angle A plus angle T plus angle H is equal to 360 degrees. Now, let us talk about the different kinds of quadrilateral and its properties. We have a square. A square is a quadrilateral with four sides and four right angles. As you seen in this figure, we have a square A, B, C, D. A square has four equal sides, which is side AB equals side BC equals side CD equals side DA. In a square, we have also four right angles. Angle A equals angle B equals angle C equals angle D. And the measurement of all the angles of a square is 90 degrees. It has two pairs of parallel sides which are side AB is parallel to side DC. And we have side AD parallel to side BC. We have also two equal diagonals, diagonal AC and diagonal BD. They are equal. Diagonals of a square are perpendicular to each other. When we say perpendicular, forming a right angle in their intersection. Angle AC is perpendicular to angle BD. Diagonals of a square bisect each other, meaning to say that diagonal BD bisects diagonal AC into two equal parts. And also, diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD into two equal parts. Another kind of quadrilateral is a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with two pairs of equal and parallel opposite sides and four right angles. In this given figure, we have a rectangle ABCD. These are the following properties of rectangle. Two pairs of parallel sides, meaning to say side AB is parallel to side DC. And we have side AD parallel to side BC. A rectangle has four right angles. Angle A equals angle B equals angle C equals angle D. The measurement of a right angle is 90 degrees. Opposite sides are equal. We have side AB is equal to side DC and side AD is equal to side BC. This mark shows that this side is equal to this side. And also, this side is equal to this side. In a rectangle, it has two equal diagonals. Meaning to say, diagonal AC is equal to diagonal BD. Diagonals bisect each other. It means that diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD into two equal parts. Same as diagonal BD bisects diagonal AC into two equal parts. Another kind of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. These are the following properties of a parallelogram. Two pairs of parallel side. It means that PQ is parallel to RT. And 
side PR is parallel to side QT. This mark shows that this side is parallel to this side. And, and also this mark shows that PR is parallel to QT. Opposite sides are equal. It means that side PQ is equal to side RT and side PR is equal to side QT. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. It means angle P is equal to angle T and angle Q equals angle R. If angle P is 110 degrees, then angle T is 110 degrees. If angle R is equal to 70 degrees, then angle Q is equal to 70 degrees also. Diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram. It means that diagonal PT bisects diagonal RQ into two equal parts and also diagonal QR bisects diagonal PT into two equal parts. This mark shows that RE is congruent to QE and also this mark shows that PE is congruent to TE. Now let us have a trapezium. A trapezium is a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides is parallel. A trapezium can also be called trapezoid. For example, we have here a trapezium EFHG. The sides that are parallel to each other are called bases. In this figure, EF and GH are the bases. The sides that are not parallel to each other are called legs. In this figure, EG and FH are legs. There is nothing special about the sides, angles, or diagonals of a trapezium, but if the two non-parallel opposite sides are of equal length, then it is called an isosceles trapezium. As you can see in this figure, side WX is congruent to side ZY. In an isosceles trapezium, the lengths of the diagonal are equal. It means that diagonal XZ is equal to diagonal WY. Now let us talk about rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with four equal sides. These are the following properties of a rhombus. Two pairs of parallel sides. It means side EH is parallel to side FG. Side EF is parallel to side HG. A rhombus has four equal sides. It means that side EH is equal to side HG equals side GF and equal to side FE. In a rhombus, opposite angles are equal, meaning to say angle E is equal to angle G. Angle H is equal to angle F. For example, angle E is 50 degrees. It means that angle G is also 50 degrees. If angle H is equal to 130 degrees, then angle F is also 130 degrees. In a rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Diagonal EG is perpendicular to diagonal HF. In a rhombus, diagonals bisect each other. Diagonal HF bisects diagonal EG into two equal parts. And also, diagonal EG bisects diagonal HF into two equal parts. Now, let us talk about kite. A kite is a quadrilateral in which two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. These are the following properties of a kite. Two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. It means side AB is equal to side BC and side CD is equal to side DA. One pair of opposite angles are equal. In this figure, angle A equals angle C. Take note that angle B is not equal to angle D. Only that opposite angles which are objects that are equal. In a kite, diagonals are perpendicular to each other. It means that diagonal AC is perpendicular to diagonal BD. The diagonals form right angle. A kite has a longer diagonal that bisects the shorter diagonal, meaning to say that diagonal BD bisects diagonal EC into two equal parts. 
Let us summarize the quadrilaterals using the following chart. A quadrilateral has a parallelogram. A square, rectangle, and rhombus are type of parallelogram. And a square has a classification of rectangle and rhombus. A kite has a classification of rhombus. And in a quadrilateral, there is also trapezoid and trapezoid composed of isosceles trapezoid. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!